Okay, so just a quick video here. I was watching a video where they were comparing OBX8 to the OB6. And something they showed on the OB6, which I never paid much attention to, was that it has a filter that you can vary between filter types. Like you can go from low pass to notch to band pass with a knob. What's interesting about this one is it does have that what we call state variable bit. So it's got low pass, band pass, and high pass, and a notch as well in there, but you can actually morph between them. So if I just, there's a nice low pass. Yeah. And then as I sweep through, we go into that notch, we go into the high pass. Hot sound, isn't it? And so I wonder if it's possible to recreate that on a modular. So this is just a proof of concept kind of thing. This is not all that musical really, but we have a state variable filter that has those various outputs. We have band pass, low pass, high pass, and notch. Well, how could we vary between those? And so I came up with the idea of putting a VCA on output of each one of those and controlling that VCA with the gate math. And the gate math has a sequence mode so it basically plays one, two, three, four, and repeats. And as it uh, sends out those gates, they're gonna be connected to envelope generators that will turn on those VCAs. So basically, real quick, it sounds something like this. It's kind of like morphing between the different filter types. So morphing between filter outputs with VCAs. I have the LFO set at a speed where it does it gradually. And the problem is if you change that speed, then all the envelopes are wrong because <laughs> you have the envelopes sort of overlapping for the next sound so that you get, uh, you know, they blend for a moment and then you get the new sound, then they blend and you get the new sound. And you're adjusting the release times of those envelopes for the blending. So uh, I think it's a very interesting idea. I think it'd be cool if a module could be made that um, you could have the LFO or maybe you could manually sweep and, uh, and maybe you'd have like four inputs and one output. So those inputs could not only be the filter types, they could be the waveforms coming out of oscillators and you'd be able to morph between them. I think that would be kind of a fun module. Anyway, it was just a proof of concept. It did work. I thought it was kind of cool. See you guys later.